what scares you? Shadows? Sharks? You see, guys, I searched the dark web to find secrets that you probably shouldn't know about. This is a skinwalker disguised as a deer. Tell me that looks like a normal deer to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see that thing outside my- I see- oh, man, I see that thing outside my front door. I'm like, I'm fleeing the country. I'm fleeing the planet Earth. I'm going on to Mars, and I will never be back to Earth. That's horrifying. A Cordy Celeps attack ant? These bullet ants are showing some worrying symptoms. He seems fine. He's partying. Spores from a parasitic fungus called Cordyceps have infiltrated their bodies. Okay, I know where this is going. Why do these not exist for humans? Wouldn't you think some evil person would have invented this and like had it spread among the population? I'm just saying there's probably an evil dude out there that would want to do that, right? Like it's never happened though, as far as I'm aware. Oh my God. I, I, it's just so mind blowing that something like this exists. It controls the ant, then it releases spores from its brain. Look at this, dude. There are literally thousands of different types of cordyceps. Fungus. Thousands of types, yet yeah, none of them get humans. Explain that. Oh, that one's cool. Cool and creepy if that's what you're into. I'm not. That freaks me out. I just think there should be a human variant. I'm just saying. Crocs can gallop? That's actually kind of cute, though. Well, I mean, as long as it's not coming after me, it's kind of cute. I mean, if it's coming after me, then I'm going to die. But it'll still be cute until I die. The Troxler effect. Okay. Also known as peripheral fading. Now, you see this red dot, the circle. If you yeah. stare at the red it's dot really long blurry. enough, the so blurry. to fade. Okay. Keep that in mind. So this now, if you it's gone. a mirror long enough on a fixed point like your face, things will start to morph around you. Even I've done this. This is true. Demonic or twisted. Yeah, it does. This is because the brain starts to fuse, dissolve, or fade areas that it deems as peripheral and not central. What? Why? However, this doesn't explain why we see such scary faces or demonic entities running around us. I'm scared, dude. The brain may be just filling in some areas, giving itself some stimuli to work. What if it's actually letting you see them? It may even be some sort of dissociative identity effect. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, some of these give me goosebumps, and that was one of them. That one touched me in a deep way, because I've experienced that. If you, like, look at your face, you just start to see things, and it's weird. Bro, goose teeth. Look at this. You've never you seen this before. These actually have teeth on their beak and on their tongue. I know. On their tongue? What? That's so creepy. Those teeth are actually known as denticles. And used they got tentacles in their mouth? But it also means that if they bite you on the finger, it can really hurt. No way. Bro, I ain't checking nothing from a geese after looking at that. I don't know what geese hiss to you. Day six of watching a goose try to hatch out some chickens. Oh my god, why does it sound more like a snake than a snake does, dude? Geese are frightening. And they shoot this grappling hook type head out of their proboscis. Four fangs dig in. Bro, I wish I had a grappling hook thing to stick out of my proboscis. And then with those fangs, they inject venom. That venom oh. paralyzes and sometimes even stops the heart of its victim. Wow! And then they sit there and slurp up the innards. Dude, I'll tell you, I would do so much with my proboscis if I was sticking out a slurper. Okay, this is really cool. You see how it's completely wow. slinked out like this? Yeah. Notice that coloration. The blood. You see how purple it is? Is it blood? Yeah. It's all peach colored here and yeah. purple here. That's why they're called blood worms because oh. their insides are actually dark red and the That's skin cool. is semi-translucent and you can see that coloration right through Wow. There. Does that mean yeah. if it gets too fat, it rips? Stick out your proboscis, bro. Show me what you got. Yeah, isn't that wild? Come on. Look down the side of its body there. You see how it looks like the spikes coming off? Are they spikes? Yeah. I mean, when your legs are actual spikes, you know you've made it from evolution. And when you know you got a proboscis, you made it even more. Oh, that's weird. I'm surprised his fingers are not broken. Oh, that's a very realistic hand. That is uncanny. Even more uncanny if it moves. Dude, City is be putting up the weirdest art. Like, seriously, sometimes I look at City art and I'm like, this has to be money laundering. Why would anyone buy this? Like, it's so weird. Maggot carpet. Ew. Not good is right, dude. Oh, I hate maggots. Maggots are the most disgusting thing on the entire planet other than your mom. Nothing else tops it. God, that's nasty. Is it about to get worse? How is this possible? Unless there's a dead body. These are so hard to get through, man. They're so gross. They're so scary. House has been quiet for a few that days. house has got a murder victim in it. I can tell you right now. It just looks then like it. We noticed the oh, flies. God. I think I'm right. Oh, God, it is. It says murder house. And all the windows. 
This actually literally could be like a dead body in there. I'm glad it did not show us a dead body because I would have lost monetization like that. But we did it, so we're good. We the found a creepy abandoned house. I used to do this as a kid. I actually, I got a crazy story. I would do this as a kid. I would go into abandoned houses near where I lived. One of them, the entire basement was flooded. Like it was like literally green, five, 10 foot of water. And I almost jumped into it and went swimming. I would have died from an Ohio alligator probably. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's all right. This is weird. All right. Oh, nope. This looks like a, like a, like a, like this doesn't even, this looks like a, like a setup. It is so creepy. It doesn't even look real. No way. What? That's so cool. This is real. I feel like this stuff is worth some money. It needs to go in a museum or something. Bet Those are bed bugs. Seen an infestation like this. I had one bed bug once in my last home, which was infested with cockroaches. And it was from my neighbor because I know he was a fat slob. Bro, I freaking bolted out of that place. Six months later, I was out. Automon display. Oh. I feel like that would be such a good movie set in like a new like Eddie Murphy haunted like, you know what I mean? Like haunted Disney movie or something. Northern Lights make sounds? No, they don't. Really? This doesn't seem right. Can, can someone tell me if that's real? Because if they're actually making sounds, I would believe those are the ancestors. I think we understand now. Those are the ancestors. It looks like an ordinary selfie of a man at the ocean. Yeah. But believe it or not, this picture actually has a tragic backstory. Oh, okay. On January 11, 2007, a 38-year-old man from Australia named Andrew McCauley made a second attempt to kayak across the Tasman Sea. Seems easy. The Tasmanian police and Australia's search and rescue service cautioned against the trip, but regardless... Okay, Andrew why? It seems like so smooth. His journey. It Yet seems so Thursday, easy. On February 8th, with only 120 kilometers... Oh, okay, that's pretty far. He sent a triumphant text message to his wife and three-year-old son who were waiting in New Zealand saying, quote, see you at 9 a.m. Sunday, oh, boy. end quote. But unfortunately, that was the last time anyone has heard from Andrew before he vanished. Then on Saturday night on February 10, the Rescue Coordination Center in New Zealand found Macaulay's upturned kayak oh. in near perfect condition, just 54 kilometers offshore oh, that's weird. no first sound. And near the kayak, they also found Andrew's camera with the memory stick inside. So what you're looking at now is the last known selfie of Andrew McCauley before he vanished. All right, well, that's horrifying. Oh my God, what? Whoa, wow, wow, who, ah, well, I mean, it just is absolutely terrible. And, and, and I'm not even gonna guess, but that's horrifying. Things in psychology class Oh, this will be good. Really you know what's gonna be good when she got a dream catcher, a calendar, looks like some sacrifice saying a black cat, big things on her ears, earrings. This okay. is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. Parent makes mistake. Okay. Okay. First child makes mistake. Oh my god, why do you never pay attention? You always do this. You're so constant. You need to pick This is what my parents did. Brown him. Do you hear me? Bro, you didn't even t don't hold your children to higher standards than yourself. Hey, that's what my parents did to me, and it was absolutely traumatizing. I'm not gonna lie to you, I hated it. I think most of us probably dealt with that though, let's be honest. All right, well, that's horrifying. Oh my God, what? Whoa, wow, wow, who? Ah, well, I mean, it just is absolutely terrible, and, and, and I'm not even gonna guess, but that's horrifying. This one, AI predicts how the last selfies on Earth will look like. That's not bad, taking pictures by nukes, getting killed. This guy's not even on Earth anymore, bro's just not even on the planet. This girl's face is a definitely not a human. That's an alien. This guy's dead. I don't know how he got that selfie. Someone probably posed him to take that. Yeah, I mean, this is probably probably what could happen. I mean, if, if there's a last day of Earth, it's gonna be from a nuke, probably. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. Stone Man syndrome can transform you into a human statue. Over time, your body literally slowly starts to turn into a statue, just like these people, before it becomes so frozen you can't move or breathe and you die. Here, but immune suppressing drugs may decrease flare up severity. It's actually horrifying, bro. It's called fibrioplasma osculoprogalitia. Very, very horrifying. Oh, I don't like that, guys. If you didn't like that either, make sure you click right here to go get your brain washed out from some crazy places on Earth you won't believe exist. Peace.